Hello there, so uh, let's say that I'm going to measure using this ruler on the centimeters side. Uh, I would start measuring from the zero. Uh, let's say that I measure and I go down to, uh, to this line here. So uh, up to this point here, up to this point, it's uh, four centimeters, of course. And, uh, well, each line here represents a tenth of a centimeter. So that would be that I, uh, up to this point here, I have five tenths, meaning that I would have a 4.5 tenths of a centimeter. So 4.5 there. Now, uh, as we move on to a scientific notation, uh, there's this really important idea that I kind of feel that the, the book is not acknowledging, is, and it's the fact of significant figures. I'm pretty sure that when you study rounding, uh, uh, something close to 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 uh, to being aware of the decimal values and uh, the degree of accuracy was discussed because of the nature of rounding and the fact is that uh, if I measure up to up to this line here it means that uh, my degree of accuracy was uh, by point uh, by point one centimeters or in this case, since I know that this is, uh, since this is the metric system, remember that just moving the point once here would get you to 45 millimeters. So uh, my my precision here uh, was uh, either one or, or one or less a uh, 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 millimeter uh, uh, close to the answer. So uh, the decimal point and uh, and how we how we answer uh, how we represent the number in, in math uh, gives us an idea of precision uh, when we talk about units. So, for example, though I know that four point five zero 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 centimeters here would be uh, the same as four point five centimeters, if someone answers uh, answers with uh, with this number here. What it means is that uh, all of these uh, units here are uh, were important, and uh, that they measured uh, using that degree of accuracy. So uh, when when we uh, and, and for example, what uh, right here in the in the upper one, I ha I only have two two digits that I, I find significant because that those were uh, the place the places that I used to 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 uh, to define my my degree of accuracy but this person uh, was overly meticulous and uh, they used uh, uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight the eight eight significant figures so eight And uh, perhaps you can uh, watch a few videos of significant figures and if you're still not convinced uh, on how to identify them, but th that's basically the idea. Uh, you just don't want to, to give a sense of a false precision. So although they, they can be represented with, with uh, the, uh, those two numbers are the same quantity, uh, both send different uh, messages that, that you have a, a different uh, degree of accuracy. So uh, here I'm just gonna go. Oh, by the way, that's where I got the ruler. I just googled that. Uh, so uh, here I'm gonna go to uh, this Khan Academy practice, and I'm I'm gonna highly recommend it if if you still don't have the hang of significant figures. Let me connect the keyboard here because it's if not it's gonna open it in the screen and it's gonna take uh, space from you guys. So uh, here uh, we have this question, how many significant figures does 613 have? Now uh, here you have three numbers and uh, every single one of them is important. Uh, so I have three significant figures or three significant digits. Uh, right now I have a 1.260. Notice here that I have uh, uh, that zero there that it's kind of confusing uh, because 
without it, I would have answered that it would be three uh, significant, uh, three significant digits. Uh, but then that last zero there gives me uh, a sense that that person was a little bit more accurate, and they 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 went ahead and tried to use the thousands to to try to be more more precise. So uh, uh, although we might feel that it we only see three significant numbers here, uh, it's actually four of them. Uh, so how many significant figures does? Uh, 0, 0 0.4463 half. Now notice that these two zeros are just placeholders. Unlike the previous one, uh, those zeros are just uh, giving me the sense that that the, those value, uh, uh, you have the tens and units there, but uh, it's not actually defining the degree of accuracy. What defines the degree of accuracy is uh, up to this number here, the number 3. So I have four significant figures there. And uh, look at this here. This one is quite interesting because if they would have written a, a, a point at the end, I would have felt that the whole number would have been significant. But since they did not write a point up to this end, then I feel that uh, those two zeros are simply placeholders, meaning that the, the, uh, that they were not uh, uh, used in, in being, or uh, they were not used in defining how precise would be the answer. So in this case, it would only be uh, those first four numbers that would be significant. And uh, here, look at uh, the interesting case, the first zero here. That does not give me uh, any precision. And the last one here uh, does not give me a precision. Of course, if it would have a point there at the end, it would give me the idea that I have three significant figures. But otherwise, look at the two numbers that are defining this, uh, it's clearly 2 and 9, so I have two significant figures.